Hey everyone, it's Amy. Today I have a binder sorting video. So I have 17 set out here at the moment. We're also going to be putting away the Hybe groups. I have like one Taeyang card. <laughs> and then uh, we have some TXT and an hyphen and the boys. So not a whole lot of groups, but I still feel like I have a lot of stuff to put away. So I wanted to start out with my Joshua and my DK collection. So there's been a little bit of like changes since the last setup video that I had. So if you saw my journey to becoming a carrot series, I think it was part three where I went ahead and I started putting them all into their own little binders. I have this collect book for Joshua. And as predicted, like I said in that video, I pretty much outgrew this pretty quickly. And instead of splitting him up into two collect books, I kind of decided to revamp things a little bit. I decided that I wanted to put his album specific cards into this B on D A5 binder. And anything that's non-album specific is still going to remain in this collect book. And I ended up rearranging his stuff off camera because, I don't know, it was like stressing me out. I really wasn't quite sure exactly how I wanted to go about like storing his stuff. And I kind of came to the realization that I really want to start trying to at least complete his Korean album cards. So that's why I ended up moving him into the bigger binder. Um, I have DK stuff as well, which we have a little bit of his stuff to put away. Um, so yeah, I figure let's start out with Joshua. And I know I just said I did all this off camera, but I kind of wanted to flip through a little bit and kind of show you some of the changes that I made. So first things first, I have another one of these Beyond D binders. Originally, I was only using this to store some of like um, 17's larger inclusions. But I decided I'm just going to expand it and we'll put Joshua's album cards in here as well. So last night, um, I was actually watching Kate Elise's uh, live video <laughs> and I told her in the chat, I was like, oh, I'm actually organizing my own photo cards right now. I'm sitting on the floor organizing everything. So this is what I was actually organizing. I ended up putting in some fillers just to give me like a better visualization of what exactly I was missing because I did have a template and I printed it out and everything, but... This is just easier for me. So as you can see, I am still missing some of his earlier cards. Uh, luckily, we ended up with uh, AL1, so that's here. Um, and then I'm missing some of Teenage, but I did get these two recently in a haul, as well as Director's Cut. So luckily, I ended up having um, a seller that sold me all four of his Director's Cut. And then as you can see, <laughs> a lot of blank space for You Make My Day and You Made My Dawn. So I left spots open for that. And then we begin with an ode. And this is going to have a lot of gaps in it at the moment. But these were some of the cards that I pulled and that Melanie pulled. And we did some trading. So um, that is how this little section looks currently. I have a few on the way. I have the white backs version of Begin. Okay, and then moving into Hengare, um, I don't really have Hana Duo or Set yet, but I have the net version down here. And then we have semicolon, and then your choice. So I only have two from your choice at the moment. I'm missing the one where he's holding the flowers. And then I also have one of the pre-order benefits from your choice era coming. I think it's one of the Yijiu. Sorry, the cat's in here. <laughs> um, yes, kitty. Oh my gosh. Um, so I have the Yijiu, one of them coming. So I left a spot here. And then I really want to get more because his pre-orders from that era are one of my absolute favorites. So I really would like to at least fill in a couple more spots. And then Ataka. So I am missing OP1, both of them. I keep seeing one version that's for sale a lot and I might buy it, but there's another one. There's the one of him like with his arm is kind of up in the photo. That one is so much harder to find and I feel like people are overpricing it and I just refuse to pay that price. So we're just gonna let it ride for now. Um, here is OP2, I'm missing the other one where he's standing on the beach. And then we have OP3 and then the carrot versions are here. And I have um, Target pre-order benefit that my friend Pamela gifted me. And then I have, um, I can't remember if this is Soundwave or, I don't know, it's one of the pre-orders. And then this 
all came from the carrot version where they gave you like 20 photo cards I think. So these all came from Melanie's group order that I joined. And then we have the Japan Power of Love photo cards that my friend Kate uh, did a group order for. And then I just have his larger inclusions and then we have these season's greetings Polaroids for every member. And yeah, that brings us to actually storing away <laughs> a couple of things, but they're not photo cards. They are, however, just larger inclusions that um, just needs a place to live. Okay, so how was I going to do this? I think what I was going to do was put some of these over here, I think. That's what I'm doing. So Kate ended up gifting me some of these. So, I mean, it's perfect. I'm just gonna put him in here. We've got a Minghao and a Joshua semicolon card to go in there. Um, and let's see, oh gosh, I have these guys as well. Wait, I actually changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going to put this oval one here like that. And then since this one is the same shape as the Polaroid, you can go back here so that it doesn't show through on the other side. So something like that. Oh, that's upside down though. Mm. Oh no, now he won't face the same way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, whatever, it's fine. Let's just keep moving. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put these away as well. So I know like nothing's really in any order in terms of era and stuff like that, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have these carrot land cards that Kate also gave me. And then I have these your choice postcards. Throw them in here. And then these Japan cards. They're just too big to put into a four pocket, unfortunately. So we'll put those in there. And then these also came with uh, the Japanese albums. So, oh dear, falling, falling. <laughs> um, I will put them in here. Okay, so that's what I have right now, but I just realized I need somewhere to put this uh, hanger. I don't know, do we call this a bookmark? Like, what is that? <laughs> um, so, oh, I think it's unfortunate that he won't fit into that. Um, okay, I actually will probably just have to put him in one of these. Yep, he's just gonna have to go in here. I know it bugs me that it's not in era order, but it's fine. I will have to uh, do some rearranging, you know, a little bit later. So that was it so far for the A5 binder and I know I've mentioned this collect book before and you've seen it so I did remove a lot of the stuff that was in here into there and the stuff that I did end up keeping in here were um like I said non-album specific things I did have some dupes as well well I put one of the dupes I think here on the cover from an ode and then I had another dupe from incomplete that I ended up decorating in a top loader I'll get a little bit more into this because I kind of want to mention this um in a minute so we have um social club here social club I have his other business card coming um, from a trade and then this is one of the wallet photo cards and then in the soup uh, season's greetings going 17 and then um, incomplete so yeah there's the dupe of that one over here <laughs> and I'm still missing I think one of his incomplete cards actually I just realized I skipped a page by accident <laughs> so yeah incomplete I think only has six cards per member so um, yeah, I am missing one currently right there. And then this is just a blank page. I need to fix that. I'm gonna need to shift everything up most likely. But um, yes, here are Power of Love concert and then the Little Wishes holiday box cards and the stickers and then his D icon magazine. Okay, so that's all I have now um, in his collect book. Okay, so now a little shameless plug. If you follow my Instagram or my TikTok, you'll know that for Christmas I got a silhouette cutting machine. So I got a silhouette cameo and 
Oh my gosh, I have been having so much fun just drawing stickers and printing them out. I've been sending them to my friends and uh, the other day I made these deco stickers and I'm like, I'm going to decorate top loaders with them. But ever since then, I've gotten a lot of questions regarding um, am I going to like maybe open a small business? Am I going to ever sell these? And honestly, I would like to. I really, really would. I just need to figure out things like logistics and what have you, <laughs> you know. I'm really not quite sure how to go about doing that. If you have any tips, please let me know. But here are just some of the examples of some of the things that um, I worked on. And I know this is super amateurish because I don't really have a background in like illustration or digital art or anything like that. So this is really just me dabbling and just making things for fun. So I made like a cozy little woodland theme one. Um, this one is actually more of a prototype. The finished one actually has um, more stuff in it, but um, I made one for like carrots because you know, 17. <laughs> and then um, the deco ones, and I was playing around with the different colors and the saturations. So these two are a little bit different. And then I made one where there's like, you know, cute little breakfast foods and stuff like that. It's probably going to be a while until I can actually get things set up and whatnot and I really want to tweak some of these as well. I ordered some holographic designs like laminate so waiting for those to get in as well but let me know your thoughts i'd really like to gauge your interest if this is something that you would ever be interested in um what kind of designs you'd like to see do you prefer more deco things where you can use for decorating top loaders and journal stuff or do you like things that are more cutesy illustrated or I don't know just let me know your thoughts if this is something you'd ever be interested in but I just wanted to put it out there because I've just been having so much fun doing it but I was also getting a lot of questions so I wanted to go ahead and address it another thing that I actually forgot to show was that I made these little like thank you stickers you know that I could like use for like when I do trays and just like mail stuff and yeah, I don't know. I designed my cat. I drew my cat. <laughs> um, and it just says thank you on it. So I don't know. That's just sort of an example of everything. And this is totally random, but I found my pack of Wings Tour folders. So I'm like, I should use these. <laughs> They're just sitting around collecting dust. So I used the Tay one to hold some of my stuff. So now I have just some DK stuff to put away. And I really, really need to go through and start reorganizing some of his stuff as well. I don't know if I'll put templates in here only because it's already so thick. So, or fillers, I mean. So, <laughs> I don't know. We might need to expand him into another binder sometime as well. Or maybe do like kind of what I did with Joshua where I'm splitting up, you know, album cards and non-album cards. So I need to go over to his little incomplete section right here and I have only one card for now from incomplete so I'm gonna put him up here and that's pretty much all I've got <laughs> for that okay, and now we are in Attacka. I only have one card from OP1 so we'll just put him up here I think I think that might be all I have. So this is kind of a weird area. I'm not really sure how I want to do this. So I only have like one card from Teenage and I just really, I don't know, this is going to be such an odd spot. Trust me, I will definitely rearrange things more according by era, but this is just going to be kind of a placeholder spot for him for now just to keep him safe. And then I have um, one of his wallet cards, so I don't know where to put him either. I'm just gonna put him here next to the end the soup card. Okay, and after that, I really, okay, I just have this. So let's see. I have um, these from Power of Love Japan album, and I think I'm going to move out these cards and then put DK down here like that and then I just have these Attacka pre-order benefits so I'm just gonna put them back here I'm still deciding maybe I want to move it closer to be next to the Attacka album cards but for now we'll just go there and then I threw in this extra page to put these guys back down here um, they're just 
a little too long and they stick out so I like to keep them on the bottom row but yeah okay so DK's was pretty short and sweet <laughs> because I've already knocked out a lot of his cards but yeah I just I kind of go through phases where I'm like okay I'm only gonna focus on DK cards or okay I'm only gonna focus on Joshua cards so yeah I've been flip-flopping quite a bit depending on my mood but that is all I have then uh, for 17. This Subin poster does not want to stay. <laughs> I have Yanjun's poster on my larger inclusions uh, binder. And that kind of brings me to these, these uh, broadcast photo cards. And I know that they're bigger, they're not photo card size technically. So in theory, I would put them in my larger inclusions binder, but I don't know. I feel like these are so, so special that I want them to be in like my primary binder and I want them to be in order of era. So since these are the runaway broadcasts, we have the angel or devil. I'm going to put them here in this four pocket and I need to get better sleeves. <laughs> uh, I know that these sleeves are a bit too big, but for now they're just going to have to do until I can find something a little bit better. So he will live there for now. I don't know what I'm gonna put down here yet, but we'll decide later. And I just love the backs. They are so, so cute. Alrighty, now I just need to go back here. Okay, I have a lot of Yanjun and some unit cards that I like to put away. So Melanie sent me all of these. Like she actually pulled these, <laughs> which was a miracle. Let's see, I have a number three here. And this was number six. So I'm missing numbers four and five. Please, if you have them, please let me know. I'm willing to buy them or trade. So please, please, please let me know. Um, and then I have these unit cards, which I'm a little, mm, I really don't know if I want to put them in like their own pockets or if I just want to keep putting them on the backs here. Apparently there's only four units with Yanjun in them, which is kind of nice. I don't have to focus on trying to find all eight. So I might just put them through this row, honestly. So, I don't know. We'll see how this looks and if it bugs me, then um, I'll change it. So, yeah, I don't know. It's fine. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, now I need to go back here and put away the wallet cards. So this is such a random page, <laughs> but all I have here are his season's greetings. So I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about maybe just putting them on this page as well. I think I'll put the wallet cards like this. And then the season's greetings, kind of like that. <laughs> I don't know, it looks a little weird. Let me put some fillers in here too. I think that's all I have then for TXT. Okay, we have this mint binder, which means it's gonna be in Hypen. <laughs> so I have some like pre-order benefits or like fan sign cards, and I think I'm gonna need to put them here. I think I'm going to remove the group cards just for a second. I think I'm gonna do something like this. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is a pre-order benefit. It's technically a sticker and it looks identical to a photo card that I already have, which is why I'm putting it on this page instead. And then I have uh, this one from Little Wishes and then this is a fan sign. And then this is from The Wallet. And then, oops, I need to change that sleeve. Yes, I do. <laughs> and then another Little Wishes. Okay, gotta uh, change this one. Okay, so that's gonna be his miscellaneous page from around the Dimension Dilemma era and Little Wishes and all that stuff. And now let's see, I'm kind of thinking about just putting the group cards here like this on the back and there's cat hair we will ignore <laughs> okay so we'll just do that okay and now for a dimension answer so i basically ended up pulling like a full jake set almost but it was off camera it was when my weaver's order got here hold on like actually let me grab the other stuff 
So this is my uh, JK folder, but it has the Enhypen stuff in here. So actually, this is for the boys, which um, I'm going to have to put away off camera because I did not grab their larger inclusions binder today. But basically, I ended up pulling uh, these two Jake cards and then both of his bookmarks from my Weverse order. I was just so shocked and I wish I filmed my reaction, but I felt like it wasn't really worth filming because I already uploaded an unboxing. So here we are. <laughs> and then my Target order finally arrived and um, I pulled this Jungwon bookmark and I'm like, do I keep it? Um, I don't know. I'm still trying to decide. I might not store him today, but I do still have him. Yeah, so, and then we just have the larger inclusions too that we'll put away at the end. So yes, I got really, really lucky and then Pamela is trading with me as well for the jakes that she pulled and that'll complete my set. It's just wild to me <laughs> how um, how this happened. So these are both from the No version, I wanna say. Whoops, this is the Weaver's group order. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in here too, I think. But I was going to put the selfie cards like this and then the Polaroids up here. And then I did a trade for these. So Melanie is sending me her Jake Target card and then my friend Faye is sending me the Weaver's one. So I'm so, so grateful that like this all ended up working out so well. And then I actually just need to put away the group card that also came with Weverse, and I'm just going to put it here in the back. It also came with two cards technically, but they look identical. One was just plastic and the other was paper, so I'm just going to put the paper one in here because it's less bulky. All right, so that's all we have for the new album, and I just need to go over to um, back here. I think I already put in a, um, a sleeve or a pocket, I mean. Oh, here we are. Here we go. <laughs> I traded with Melanie. She pulled Jake's ID. So very, very grateful. And we're going to put him here with the rest of their Weather Lab and Seasons greetings. I don't know. I just love how colorful and bright this is. I don't know. This page like brings me a lot of joy. I really, really like it. And then, okay, here's the page that I reserved for their anniversary photo frame set. So as you can see, I have um, I have six cards. Melanie bought a uh, Sungun from me. And I was debating, I'm like, do I wanna keep the rest of the set? Do I wanna sell the rest of them? But I don't know. I actually think that it'd be kind of cute to put them as like a six configuration in here, like a two, two, two. So I think that's what I'm gonna do and see how, um, just see how this looks. So yeah, I don't know. I think it's cute and I just think that the colors are also really, really fun and I don't know. I just really like them. So I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Alrighty, fillers are in and now I need to go back here, put away some of bigger stuff, which did I leave room for? I know I did. I did a binder setup video for all this stuff. Okay, we have the bookmarks. Still truly cannot believe I pulled both. <laughs> so we'll put the no version here. These are really thick and bulky though. So I'm like, uh, I don't know. Hopefully um, they don't warp or warp my other things in here, you know? This is gonna be a struggle, I already know. Like, <laughs> they are not gonna stay in place. Oh no! <laughs> what did I just do? <laughs> This. Okay, we're gonna use Jung Wan's assistance and just kind of like <laughs> shove these down here. <laughs> there we go. This looks really bad. <laughs> this looks so bad. I think what I'm going to do when I have time is I will cut out some strips of white cardstock and put them in the back. That way they don't look like they're just sort of free floating in here. But you know what? That's just gonna have to do for now. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna put away the photo stands. So we have these two. Oops. I'll go like 
like that. And then we just have the bigger one. I think this was like a US press type of uh, inclusion. I don't think it comes in any of the Korean press albums. So we have that. Okay, I think that's all I have then for an hype in. Then I just need to grab my Taeyong binder real quick and literally just put away one card for him. So moving on, I need to go over to Butter Era. Yes. <laughs> This took quite a while to get here, only because, you know, um, it was for my friend in China, so it took a while to get here from the mail, but it is his um, Japanese fan club card for Butter. I'm so happy. He's finally here. He's gonna go right here. <laughs> Yay, this page is finally complete. <laughs> And then here's the back. So, okay, Butter Era slash Permission to Dance Era is finally done. Okay, so lastly, I have the boys, and this binder is just getting so, so big that I don't know. I, I'm thinking about maybe weeding some things out, but I really like the cards that I have, so I don't know. But anyways, let's just keep going. So I have a lot of Maverick cards to put away as well as their Seasons Greetings. Oh, let's go all the way over to Maverick. Um, actually, this is a good spot to be because I finally got Hyunjae's Hollow with Drama card. Someone very kind reached out to me because they knew that um, I... I don't know if I got scammed or if the seller just decided to kind of take a break, but they never sent me my card. So someone was so kind to reach out to me and let me know that they had this as well. They gave it to me for a very, very good price. So I'm very, very grateful. And now finally I can, I can move on from thrilling because <laughs> that was the last card I was missing from thrilling era. But now I need to go over to Maverick and I don't know, do I have an album photo card to put away? I might. Okay, so I do have some album cards that I need to put away, I think. Well, I have this Hyunjae, which is the Doom version. So he's gonna go here actually. And then I have a Youngun. Is that right? Yeah, Youngun for Doom. Or is this Moon? No, it's is it Doom? <laughs> I can't remember. And then I have Eric's. So I'm missing one Eric from this version. And then I'm missing another Eric from um is this Mood? And then this one is Storybook. Is that right? Yeah. So we have Hyunjae, my friend Ina gifted this to me. Um, so yeah, I am missing overall one, two Eric's, and then two Youngoons. So not bad, not bad. Okay, now <laughs> let's go to the pre-order benefit page. So I think this is the Music Korea that I was missing for Youngoons. So I ended up getting this from a seller. I just want to make sure that these all match. Hyunjae was in two units, so I have the unit with Changmin, and then I have his unit, um, let's see, where is he? Over here with Juyan. so yeah. <laughs> he really had to do me dirty like that. <laughs> okay, so that is complete, and then these were the IDs. And make star. Okay. Ah, yes. I have Youngoon. I have his, I think this was a lucky draw. So yeah, they're harder plastic, so they do tend to slide around quite a bit. Okay. I think that's complete. And what is this? This is completed. Okay. Okay, okay, so I need to add some extra pages now because we have quite a bit more to put away. I just need to add two more pages. So these pockets that I use are actually from Amazon Japan. And I really like them a lot, but they will not work in a three ring binder. You will definitely need to have a four ring binder in order for these to fit. Here's what they look like though, if you wanna take a screenshot. These are the nine pockets and they come in 
a whole lot of other um, shapes basically. So you have uh, a full one pocket here, four pockets, eight pockets, and you know, two pockets and so forth. I ordered this directly from Amazon Japan. So it was amazon.jp and they ship directly to me in the US. Um, another option, you could always go through a proxy, but I haven't had any problems though going directly through Amazon Japan and it got to me very, very quickly. And I just really, really love these sleeves. Um, they just feel nice and smooth and they're clear and yeah, I don't know. I just really, really like them. And I think that they're a great alternative if um, you're not able to get the ones from eBay that everybody uses, the ones from Andy Jack, you know? So I highly recommend these as well. Okay, let's start putting them away. These are all fan sign cards or pre-order benefits. And I was chaotic as usual and just went ahead and, um, got my bias line <laughs> i don't know if i'll be doing this again in the future because it does get you know quite to be a lot and uh, i don't know but either way i'm just really really grateful that i had the opportunity to claim what i could um from my friend ina's group orders so yeah these are all from different fan signs they look so good though i really like how the outfits kind of coordinate with each other oh it's so satisfying too to see the backs like that Okay, and then really I just have a few more. This unfortunately will not complete a page though. So I don't know, um, but that's fine. I love these ones with them and their hoodies. So, so cute. I love it, oh my goodness, okay. So now I was thinking since I do have this empty row right here, I have a couple sets of um, Seasons Greetings and I was thinking about maybe putting in the Everline um, pre-order benefits down here along with them. I don't know. <laughs> it's just something, I don't know, it's a placeholder maybe to kind of fill in the space, you know. So maybe we'll do something like that. And then on the next page, maybe I can just... Uh, I know it really won't be in order, but then again, I don't know. Let's just see how it looks. So because we have three sets, you know, I'm thinking maybe we'll just put it right here right after Maverick. Let's just see how it looks. I don't think I will ever shut up about the Archer, <laughs> the Archer Youngun. Oh, I love it. So I don't know, I think it kind of works out because there's a set of three here and then the pre-order benefits from Everline. So I can just put it here. I'll think about it, but I think it looks okay. So I think actually we have reached the end of the video. Um, I don't have anything else to put away. I also want to mention that you might not see many updates from me within the next two weeks or so because um, I will not be in town. I'll actually be um, vacationing for a little while. It'll actually be my first trip that I've taken um, since before the pandemic. So a lot of feelings because um, the last time I took a trip, like things just didn't go very well. And you know, then the pandemic happened and then I was pretty much locked down in my home for the past two years. I'm sure this is really relatable for a lot of you, but yeah, this will be my first trip in a while. So excited and part nervous and overall, I hope everything goes well. Uh, you might see one more upload from me that might be kind of related to my trip. Um, as for vlogging, I don't know if I will, but I'm still thinking about it. But anyways, so I just kind of want to let you guys know that some of my updates on all my platforms just might not be quite as active over the next two weeks or so. But if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.